The Gate City Volleyball Program has built quite a resume. Here you go, ball up. Six state championships and a number of former All-State players like Doniva Bays. She uh, inspires all of us, you know, and and works and helps all of us. Doniva can still be seen in the stands this season. Now she's watching her daughter Michaela play for the Blue Devils. Yeah, I look up to her a lot. I think it's very special that she played here and I'm just very grateful for her. It's got to help Michaela to have a former player in her back pocket. My mom is very helpful at all times and I really appreciate her. She's just um, very supportive and very um, informative of what I do wrong or what I do right. She just is very helpful. She's definitely telling me what I did wrong and what I need to fix do better the next time. But her mom isn't just a former player. She's also a current coach, the head volleyball coach at Milligan University. It is awesome to see her change a lot of people's lives and just how good she is to coach volleyball. She's got mom helping her with the fundamentals and, and teaching her the game. And then, you know, in here, we're going to make her uh, we're going to push her as much as we can, the best we can. Michaela grew up around a college volleyball program, observing and practicing with the big stars. I've been in to volleyball since I was about five years old. Um, I've been in to the gym since I was a baby, so I think I've just been around it a lot, and it's just part of my life. See her at Milligan as a wee little uh little girl and just to watch her grow and develop into a an athlete a volleyball player um, and then a great teammate now she's a freshman on one of the best high school teams in this area and possibly in the state just to try my best and just find the spots that are open and i think it's very important to encourage each one of my teammates and just tell them that it's okay no matter what She's not just a freshman on the team. She's the starting outside hitter and leads the team in kills as a freshman. I think it's important to have a good reach on the ball and just um, get your arms there faster and have a faster approach and faster reach to attack it. It's fun watching her grow. And I know we're not done. You know, she's not done. Uh, she still has so much of the game. She's she can bring to the game, she's going to bring. It'll be sweet just to see what she does with her talent. Gate City went 10-1 and in this shortened season and earned the top spot in next week's region tournament. It's been very different. I think we've done a good job of just keeping it together and being supportive of each other and just doing everything we can to win. And this team hopes to add a seventh state championship banner up in the rafters. I think we need to come together and just have a lot of enthusiasm and effort for the next week and a half. It, it's fun. Yeah. Even even through this time, um, they've all the girls have been upbeat and you know they're committed to getting bigger, faster, and stronger, and bonding and making sure chemistry flows with each other. In Gate City, Michael Epps. News Channel 11 Sports.